Hello everyone, RogueFox here, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Last week, I showed you how to create these three water item elevator designs that you see right here behind me. Since then, I've been playing around with a few more ideas and finding ways that we can improve this design or just have a little bit of fun with it. So without further ado, let me show you what I came up with. I would like to introduce the 3-in-1 item elevator. It's an auto smelter, it's an automatic minecart unloader, and of course, it is an item elevator. So let me show you how this works. Right behind us on this left side is our auto smelter. Right here in this bottom chest, we can throw in our fuel. And in this top chest, we can go ahead and load up all the iron ore we just mined up. Now that's going to filter down into the furnace below. And if we wait, we should hear a tick. And we should see an iron ingot go up our item elevator and into the chest, just like last week's design. So any second now, there it is. There goes the iron ingot. Now, let's say we are close to our item elevator, and we have some cobblestone we want to send up. So we open up this chest on the right side, load up the cobblestone, there goes another piece of iron, there goes our cobblestone. So, there are those two designs. Now, I also said this is an automatic minecart unloader. So, if we go down our mine shaft a little bit further, let's say we are further down here, and we have some diamonds that we just mined up. Let's go ahead and load the diamonds in. That goes into our minecart. We flip this lever, send the minecart on its way to the item elevator, and there go our diamonds, and I'm sure within that stack we're going to see another piece of iron go up. So there goes the iron along with our diamonds, and there you go, everything is up top. So that is the 3-in-1 item elevator. Now let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. For all the redstone back here, you will need a 5x8 area, just like this. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our supplies for today's build. And there you go, there are all the supplies we'll need. Take note, this is a dropper, not a dispenser. And over here, if you're doing the rail system, this is going to be an X amount of rails, so however long you decide to make it. And the same goes for the powered rails as well. With that being said, if you want to pause the video, go ahead and do that. Grab your supplies, and then we'll jump right into the build. To start things off, what we want to do is build up our item elevator. So to do that, we come one block from the center and four blocks from the back. So one, two, three, four. Right here, go ahead and place your dropper facing up. Now grab your glass, and we're going to place glass on each side. And for this example, I'm going to come up eight blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if you have a mine shaft, all you need to do is dig straight down to the floor that you're mining on, and place your item elevator starting there. So we're going to come up right here. And on this side, go ahead and place two blocks like this. Two blocks on this side right here and then one block like that we're going to leave this block open for our water source and on the front side go ahead and place a chest right here knock this block out grab your hopper and crouch place your hopper right into the back of the chest now grab your bucket of water place it right there let it run down and there is our item elevator completed so there is the foundation for our build we can go ahead and knock these bottom blocks out we don't need these so there is the foundation, as I said, for our item elevator. Now let's go ahead and automate it. To automate our item elevator, what we want to do is grab a comparator, and let's come behind our build here and run a comparator out from our dropper. Just like that, and we want to run that comparator into a block with a piece of redstone dust on the other side. A block up like this. And right here, what we want to do is run a repeater out from this block right here with a piece of redstone dust there to complete that circuit. Now if we come over to the other side, let's go ahead and place a block right off to the side of our dropper there. And on these two blocks, go ahead and place a redstone dust right there. And then run a repeater right into that block. So there we go, we have automated our item elevator. Now if we throw some redstone inside, let's test it out. So there we go, that is going up our item elevator and into our chest. Next, what we want to do is set up our auto smelter. But before we do that, let's go ahead and make a couple preparations. So what we want to do is grab a hopper, crouch place that hopper into the dropper like that, and then a hopper into the back of that hopper. And then to prep for our auto minecart unloader, let's go ahead and replace this glass block with a solid block. So it should be resting on top of that front hopper there. Now for the auto smelter, what we want to do is crouch place a hopper into the side of that hopper there. Furnace on top, hopper into the front of the furnace. And then up top, what we want to do is crouch place a hopper on top of the furnace there, chest on top of that hopper, and then a chest on top of this hopper. And this is going to be our floor level right here. So we place another block right there. 
So there we go. There is the auto smelter all set up. So our fuel will go into this chest here, filter in, and then we place our ore up top that will go in. And then when it turns into ingots, it will filter down below, go into our item elevator, and then make its way up. Now it's time to set up the automatic minecart unloader. And this auto minecart unloader is actually based off of the design I released a few months ago with a few minor changes. So first things first, what we would like to do is throw down our rail line like this. This is about 15 blocks in length. Once you get to the area where you'd like to start your loading station, go ahead and throw down a powered rail. Get your redstone lamp and come up like this, right up against your rail with a lever on top. Now grab your chest, place it right above your powered rail so it rests like that. And let's go ahead and swap some blocks out. We're going to throw in our floor level. So we want to come up like this. Come around. Just so you guys can get a better visual. Come around here. Blocks here. And there is our loading station all set up. And if we come down below, go ahead and grab your hopper minecart. And place it down right there. So it's all ready to go when it's time. Now for the auto minecart unloader. What we want to do is place a powered rail right on top of this hopper here. Skip a rail on this rail, go ahead and knock that out. We want to place down our detector rail. So detector rail, get your comparator and go ahead and run a comparator out from this hopper with your powered rail on top. And then what we want to do is run that comparator into a block right here with a redstone torch on this side. A block above the redstone torch and then one more block above your comparator. And in this gap right here, go ahead and grab a repeater, run a repeater into this block. And there we go, that redstone torch right there is going to power that block, which is then going to power that repeater, which powers that block, which then powers that powered rail. Now for the detector rail, what we want to do is throw down some redstone dust. So right here, grab some redstone dust and let's place it down. Just like that. So when our minecart comes across this rail, this is going to power this, which is then going to shut off this redstone torch which shuts off this repeater, which then shuts off this rail, allowing our minecart to empty, as you'll see indicated by the comparator. Once it's all emptied out, the comparator will shut down, and then this will all be powered once again. I know that's a lot of explaining, so let me go ahead and just show you. So this is all finished. So we come over here. Let's say we throw in nine hoppers, nine redstone dust. That's loaded. Now we flip our lever, send it on its way. That trips that. This is powering this block, which shuts off that redstone torch, which deactivates the rail, allowing this to empty. And once it's emptied, this redstone torch turns back on, powering the rail, sending our minecart back on its way. So to stop that, all we need to do is flip this lever right here, and that will come to a stop. Now what we probably want to do at some point throughout this rail system, go ahead and throw down a redstone torch block on top with another powered rail so we can get some speed and then if we go ahead and check up here there is our nine hoppers and our nine redstone so that is the auto minecart unloader all set up if you're not wanting to build the automatic minecart unloader a water stream is just as good so what we have here is some blue ice you can use packed ice or ice but i do recommend packed ice or blue ice because it won't melt a sign right above it, we place our source of water right here and let that run for five blocks. So you can see one, two, three, four, five. And also on this side, we have our source block right here and one, two, three, four, five. Now the reason why I chose to do five is because that's the fastest way I found to get items across. Anything longer than that, items will start to slow down about right here, trickle across the ice, and then barely make its way into the next water source. So this is also an option. Now, if this is your floor level here, you can have trapdoors throughout your mine shafts. And let's open this and we have our nine hoppers right here. So let's go ahead and chuck those into the stream. And look at that, they fly right on down and then they're gonna go up the item elevator. And of course, they are gonna end up in our chest. So if you don't wanna build the automatic minecart unloader, a water stream is also a good option. And finally, we need to place in our chest for our item elevator. We've built the auto smelter, we've built the automatic minecart unloader, but we have yet to place in our system for our good old item elevator. So to do that, what we need to do is come over to this side here, and in this gap, go ahead and crouch place a hopper into the side of that hopper there, crouch place a hopper into that hopper, and then a hopper into that hopper, 
you should end up on the floor level and right here go ahead and throw a chest on top so that is all set up and of course we're going to test this out so let's go ahead and grab our nine redstone right here and that's going to make its way up and as you've seen earlier all of this is going to end up in our chest above and there you have it everyone the three in one item elevator for bedrock edition this is the end of our tutorial i really hope you guys enjoyed this video this has been Rogue Box, and i'm out I'll see you later.